Hey everybody, welcome to Live Free and Too Long. And if you're into leaf blowers, this is the video for you. This is the long awaited blower comparison. We're going to be comparing the most powerful, powerful 40 volt Whisper Series leaf blowers. These things are the best on the market, at least as far as Ryobi goes. And you know, honestly, for handhelds, they're the most powerful and the best that I've seen on the market, even better than Ego in a lot of situations. Not all, but a lot. So today we're going to be doing not only typical testing that I usually do, but we're going to be doing fun and ridiculous testing, stuff that you've never seen before and I most certainly have never done before, and the results are super surprising. But first, let me show you what we're going to be working with. This is the famous Ryobi Twin Battery Backpack Blower. This is part of the Whisper series. This thing puts out 145 miles an hour at 625 CFM. It's been around for a little bit. It's very popular. It puts out the power. Then we have the 550 CFM 125 mile an hour handheld Ryobi leaf blower. This thing right here had, and it has an adjustable handle. It's part of the Whisper series. Uh, it's an awesome blower. You can see some of the other videos I've done on it. It really puts out the power. It's compact and it's just really convenient to use. Now the awesome thing about this whole thing and why I'm doing this whole test is we have this brand new Ryobi brushless HP Whisper Series leaf blower. This has some pretty crazy specs to it. This does 730 CFM at 190 miles an hour of wind flow. So I can tell you Crazy specs, I've already done a review on it, it really does put out the performance. But, does it put out the performance compared to all of these? I'm going to be doing a volume test like this. Then I'm going to be doing just a speed test like this. And then I'm going to be doing a practical test of moving material like this one. I'm going to be doing a launch test. Yeah, you heard me right, I built a cannon. All right, for our last test, this is the most requested test by anyone. We're going to be doing run times. I am going to be using four amp hour, 40 volt batteries. They're going to be three. They're brand new. They're going to be fully charged. Okay, for the first test, we're going to be taking a half a bucket full of gravel. This is half inch ballast. We're going to place it on a pallet and we're just going to blow it off. See which one can blow it off the fastest. I'm going to be using uh, full throttle plus turbo boost on all of the units themselves. Let's go ahead and get into that. Alright everybody, did the results surprise you? I was a little bit surprised when I did the test. I thought that the 730 was going to blow everyone out of the water, but the 730 barely edged out the 550. Um, and then what came out on top is the backpack blower. So um, we're seeing that this does put out a little bit of volume, but it has that good balance of cutting power plus volume of air coming out. Um, the 730 had a lot of cutting power, it just didn't have the volume because it does have the nozzle on the end of it which directs the air, it doesn't have more of the ambient. So this is a good balance. It was able to move it off, uh, albeit not that far ahead of the other leaf floors, but hey, it did the job, so uh, this one came out on top that time. Okay, for the next test, this is going to be a little bit ridiculous. I'm going to put uh, the boat out onto the pond and we're going to see how fast we can actually blow that boat across the pond with the leaf floors one at a time. We're gonna be we're gonna go race boating. Alright guys, I don't know how good of an idea that was. In my brain, I thought it was going to be a fantastic way and I was just going to skate and float across the pond. There is no losers because all of these leaf blowers did the job, we got moving it, but I can tell you I'm able to spin the boat in a circle pretty well. 
going in a straight line, well, that's kind of ridiculous because there is no control when I'm using this. So, anyways, uh, one of the more ridiculous tests that I've done, we're going to be taking a 7 foot by 9 foot tarps. We're going to pin two of them together. We're going to staple them together. We're going to have 3 inch openings in between the staples, and we are going to blow the tarp up to see which one actually goes the fastest. Now the reason why I'm doing this test is it's going to show us how much volume of air is actually being moved. For a ridiculous test that I came up with, I gotta say that one actually worked out pretty well. In my brain, I thought that was gonna be the hardest one to do. I thought it was gonna blow the tarps apart, but in essence, it did show accurately that the big backpack blower does throw out the most air when it comes to all of these units. Now, I couldn't really tell the difference between these two because they came into a tie. I mean, really, it was too close for me to tell. Okay, so this may look a little bit ridiculous to some people, but I think it looks awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this typical softball here. We're going to put it in this 4-inch PVC pipe, and we are going to launch them with the leaf blowers to see just how far that they can actually go. But I'm not going to do this in any typical sort of way. I'm not just going to pull the trigger. I'm going to take this paint stirrer. We're going to put it right there. We're going to turn on the leaf blowers, hit the turbo buttons, get the maximum CFM that we can possibly get, and then we're going to pull that. We're going to see just how far it launches, just like this. This should give us a pretty good example of what the total force, or at least the total power of the blower is. Now, I'm still using the 4 amp hour batteries for all of them, so it's going to be equal that way. Now it's going to be a pure contest of power, so let's get into it. Backpack blower did 91 feet. All right, guys, were you surprised at that result? I was super surprised for another ridiculous test. We did show the power of what these can do, and I can't believe the results on most of them. Run times. What I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do this the traditional just pull the trigger away and I'm going to hold the trigger because that's not what people use these particular blowers for. They pull the trigger and they hit the turbo boost button the whole time because they want to get the maximum performance out of these systems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the trigger and I'm going to hit the power boost button the entire time because I want to see what the maximum run time is with maximum power coming out of this. So stick around, let's get into it. start out with the backpack blower this only lasted with a 4 amp hour battery fully charged nine minutes that's why they give you two battery slots now let's move on to the uh, 730 CFM this got 13 minutes of runtime we got a four minute increase between the two and then last but not least but the longest running this is the 550 CFM and it got a whopping 16 minutes of run I gotta say, I think they're all in the same category with runtime between 9 minutes and 16 minutes. That's not too much. That's only 7 minutes uh, runtime difference. I think you gotta look at my overall summary. Let's review it. The backpack blower, it is the most powerful. I think I proved that in the test. 
it's got the power to back it up and to get the work done. Big downfalls, it's heavy and the battery does not last in this. You need double batteries. For the 550 CFM, you know, it lasts, but I don't think the battery run time is the greatest. You're not going to get that with gas-like power out of these units. But I think at 550 CFM, you're going to be satisfied with this and um, with the adjustable handles and everything you else have with it. You know, I think it's going to get you there. Now, coming in, I think this is the most well-balanced, the 730 CFM unit. Um, it's not the most powerful, but I think the diversity of this when it comes to runtime, to power, you have a nozzle on the end, and this is the secret to this whole unit, right? So um, you can take the nozzle off and you'll have a lot more air volume coming out. Now, I didn't test this blower out with the nozzle off of it because this is what it's advertised to have. Now, one thing I do want to show you is that if you look at this, it says 160, 175, 190. If you cut this off, that's going to be your mile per hour. So that's going to be your balance of volume coming out of the unit itself with the speed. So that gives you a lot of options when you want to use this uh, particular unit. Now, one other really nice thing that, uh, the, that this has, and so does the backpack blower, you have a thumb lock here so you can pull that down. And you don't have to hold the trigger the whole time, but you do keep having to press the turbo button and to hold it down. Same thing for the backpack blower. The 550 actually doesn't have this little thumb lock on it, which I don't think it's a big deal, but in some situations it would be if you didn't have to press the turbo button. Um, so my overall winner, the overall balance for this, I do have to say it's the new HP 40 volt whisperer blower. I can tell you all the names for it, but it's the newest, most powerful blower. I think on the market today, this is uh, going to be the best handheld unit, something you can keep in your closet, you can hang right on your wall, and it's super light too. This, uh, I can lift this with one finger, no issue. Um, I don't get tired when I'm holding it either. I really hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Please consider hitting the like button. And I truly hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.